Hi, Swift Biology students. Today, we are going to be making observations and doing simple experiments on Daphnia, also known as water fleas. Daphnia are small freshwater crustaceans. Let's get to know them a little bit better. One of the really nice things about Daphnia is that they're transparent and you can see their internal organs. You can see the eggs in the female but you can also see the heart, and that's what we're going to be focusing on mostly today. It might be easy to get distracted by the really cool eggs that you see below the heart, or the fastly beating thoracic appendages, which you'll see kind of in front of the heart. But if you can, try to keep all your attention on the beating of the heart. Here you see the pointer pointing directly at that quickly beating heart. The trick today is to count those beats. And so we're going to take a little practice on the next clip, counting heartbeats. The next clip lasts exactly 20 seconds. Try to figure out how many times the heart beats in those 20 seconds. Feel free to pause the video as you're getting ready. How many heartbeats did you count? Hopefully you got in the neighborhood of 65. The next thing that we're going to do is make an observation of the activity level of a Daphnia in pond water. The big question we're asking today is, what factors influence the activity of Daphnia? We're starting out here observing the activity of Daphnia in pond water. By the end of this clip, you'll have watched this Daphnia for about 25 seconds or so. And then we're going to switch out this Daphnia's water for an unknown substance that we're calling solution A. This Daphnia has been sitting in solution A for about a minute, and then we started taking video. Notice what's happened to the behavior of the Daphnia in the minute since we started videotaping. At this time, you need to write down your observations about the differences in behavior of our Daphnia between the control and substance A, and you need to choose an appropriate hypothesis. At this time, we're going to show you a series of video clips, each one 20 seconds long, and each one either with pond water or substance A.
Now that we've finished doing the control, we're going to actually look at the trials for substance A. Okay, well, we're going to start to look at a control again. Um, we're about to put our daphnia into substance B, but right now we're just looking at the behavior of the daphnia in pond water. We're going to watch this little daphnia for about 25 seconds. And now we're looking at daphnia in substance B. We're going to make our observations for about 25 seconds. At this time, you need to write down your observations about the differences in behavior of our daphnia between the control and substance B and you need to choose the appropriate hypothesis. We're about to collect heartbeat data for the control.
Congratulations, you have completed collecting data on Daphnia in two different substances. You will need to contact your instructor to find out what those substances are and to complete the rest of your lab.